In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to annotate on Revit. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to one of your views. Now, for me in particular, I'm just going to go to my building section view, which is right here. And as you can see, I already have a whole lot of different uh, annotations already. And to add annotations, like let's say I did not have this annotation right here. I'm just going to delete it real quick. What I'm going to do is go to annotate. Click on text, and then I'm going to make sure that I have my leaders the way I want them to. So as you can see, this is just no, there aren't a leader to the text. So I want a curvy leader, and I want it on both sides to come from the top. So now I'm just going to put my mouse over here and just click. Oop. When you click on text, you're going to want to click on the spot that you want to have the leader at. So you're going to click on where you want it. Right here I want on my rigid insulation. And I'm just going to click in an area. And I'm going to type in in all caps, rigid in insulation see more see details for more for more information so as you can see it's all in one big line and we don't want that so how to do it is just click on the drag and just narrow it down like this. Then we want it to be even with the other ones. So at this um, four directional icon right here, you're going to click and you're going to make it match up with the other ones. An automatic little line will appear that uh, is dotted like that. And for the most part, usually the leaders will be curved. Um, but if they're not, you could just use this dot right here and pull it in any direction that you want. But I'm going to leave it the way it is because it's good. And that is how you add text. And just to go over it again, just make sure that you keep your leaders at the tops just because it just looks more professional and just good, <laughs> more even and with each other. So that is good. So that's, that's the end of the video. Bye.